How's it going everybody? This is Beat the Bush. Time is one of our most precious assets. And if we can even save one minute off every day, not sitting in traffic, then you can imagine it can add up to be a lot. I've read some time ago that FedEx and UPS truck routes actually minimizes left turns in order to save gas and time. If you just think quickly about it, it does work. Whenever you make a right turn, you hardly have to ever stop for more than one minute. However, for a left turn, there's a high probability that you're going to sit there for a minute or more. It all comes down to the average travel time. Sometimes it might be worse, sometimes it will be less, but if you take the most optimal route every time and you average that, it's likely going to be a lot less if you take less left turns with a light there. Even non-light left turns takes a while because if you have a lot of traffic passing you on the other end, then you have to wait for them to pass before you can make a left turn. So if you're planning your commute to and from work, try to avoid left turns. You're gonna end up driving in like a circle. For me on my commute, I actually take zero left turns on the way to work and I only have one left turn only because it's required. So if you make more right turns, you can actually save time and save more gas. But sometimes you might even want to save time in trade of spending a little bit more gas. For that, we need to see how far your car can go using the same gas that you use to idle for one minute. Let's say your car gets about 30 miles per gallon and you're driving at 60 miles per hour. So in one hour, it's going to use two gallons of gasoline and your engine is running at 3000 RPM. I know the load is going to be a little different, but we're going to do a really rough estimate right here that it's going to consume about two gallons per hour. Now, if we extrapolate this to an idling RPM of 750, it's going to consume about 0.5 gallons per hour. This is a super rough calculation and you can see online that people do estimate about 0.5 to one gallon per hour of idling. We just divide half a gallon by 60 to get how much gasoline we're going to consume every single minute. This is 0.0083 gallons. Going back to your car getting 30 miles per gallon, multiply this and that together, you're going to get 0.25 miles. So your car idling for one minute sitting there, you could have traveled a quarter mile instead. Now, if you're going to make changes to your commute by making more right turns, people might have a tendency to just only measure it one time and go, oh no, look, see, I changed my commute. It's, uh, I'm a little later this time. I, it took me one or two more minutes. But what you really have to do is just average it over maybe 10 times of your commute because your traffic conditions vary and you really just have to average it in order to really find out if it's saving you time or not. As an example, here's the freeway and here's your destination. If you get off the freeway over here, you're gonna have to end up taking a left turn over here. However, if you get off one exit early over here, you can do this roundabout over here, you're not making any left turns, and over here, you're actually making a right turn, so that's a lot faster to get to your destination. Leaving your destination, should you go back where you came from? Because if you do that, you're going to make a left turn over here in this square mark. This location on average is gonna take you a little bit more time because you have to wait for the light to turn, if that is a left turn light. If the difference between going this way and backtracking and then going back is less than maybe half a mile or so, it may be worth your while to go a little further just to save time. If you backtrack, you can make a right turn over here, and when you enter the freeway, if there's an on-ramp right on the right side, then there's no waiting involved anywhere. So you just get right on the freeway and off you go. So sometimes the freeway entrance ramps are a little different for each one. So it really depends on what your actual commute is and where you're driving. So how much time does saving one minute each way of your commute really saves you over a lifetime? For the average life expectancy of a person in the United States, it's about 78.7 years right now currently. Now, if you put the years into the exact number of minutes that we're given, we are all given about 41 million minutes, and this is it. We don't have any more than this. This is a limited resource. So when you watch these minutes count down, it's never gonna come back. You only have a limited amount of time. That's why I say it's a very, very valuable resource. Most of us are gonna end up working most of our time all the way up to 65. So if you work from the age of 18 to 65, this is 47 years of work. Maybe some lucky few can retire a little bit early, 60, 55 or something like that. You get 250 days of work every single year. Now you have to go to work and then come back. So then this is two times a day. You multiply all this out, it's 23,000 minutes. And if you convert this to number of hours, it's 391 hours. This is quite a lot for a very tiny fractional change in how you drive. So I hope you implement this change. Done correctly, you can save a lot of gas and also save a lot of time. 
If you'd like to support my channel, I do have an Audible link down in the video description below where you can get a free trial for an audiobook and even if you cancel, you can still support this channel and you can keep the book for free. If you want to support my channel directly, you can go through Patreon right here. Don't forget to give me a like on this video, comment down below. Let me know if you already do a lot of right turns. And don't forget to subscribe over here. Thanks for watching.